Before we get started, I want to introduce our video sponsor, Identity. Identity is designed to declutter the internet and simplify your web experience. It allows you to organize everything you do online in one place, keeping you focused and more productive. When you add a new website to your identity, there's quite a few things you can do. Identity allows you to store your login information, create category tags, and also add an icon for the website. If you're adding a really popular website such as Amazon.com, Identity will find its icon for you and set it to that. But for me, I like to add a personal touch by adding these app icons I designed. When you add category tags to your websites, you can view them on this top panel, making them easily traversable and categorized depending on your needs. There's also a notes section to the right where you can create notes, add tasks and reminders, and so much more. In today's video, I'm primarily going to be using the websites under my design and development category. Here are a few of the sites I've been regularly using when I'm building something. You'll see me use some of them during today's vlog. I'll link them in the description below. Definitely check out Identity, it's completely free to use and has been super awesome helping me stay organized and feeling refreshed while surfing the web. So today I'm going to be designing and coding my personal website, macylee.com. I've actually had this domain name for over two years now, but there was just nothing on it and I never had the opportunity to bring it to life and make it a usable website where people can learn more about me. I always knew I wanted a blog of some sort to share my thoughts with the world and I guess that's where YouTube came in. But yeah, I thought it would be the perfect time to finally put macylee.com to good use and bring you guys along on my journey as I design and code my website. Design and coding blogs have been a highly requested topic and I'm going to be mixing in these personable shots of me talking to you guys on the camera with my traditional cinematic aesthetic shots. So please subscribe, like this video, and comment down below if you enjoy this style of video. It helps me a lot determine where to take the future of my channel and to make more videos like these or not. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> So normally when I begin a design project, I like to mood board first to figure out exactly what I want to include in the website. Since it's my own website, I think it's going to be pretty easy. These are normally the colors that I use. I think they really emit a warm and cozy vibe. I want to incorporate these colors in my website somehow and just make it really nice and pastel. These colors you can see throughout my designs on my Etsy shop or my app icons or my wallpapers that I sell. So I thought it would be fun to incorporate that in my website. Now let's move on to the typography that I want to use. For typography actually, I've been using a different font than I have been using in my earlier videos. I kind of switched to this serif font because I think it matches my personality a little bit more. It's a little bit more mature rather than playful and minimal, like how Futura was. I don't know how to pronounce that font, Fut Futura. <laughs> um, anyway, so this font I actually really love. It's called Apparel and I've been really enjoying this font for its I don't know, it just feels really minimal, mature, and 
still really beautiful. I actually use two font weights. I use apparel bold and apparel black. So apparel black is actually the thicker one. So this one is apparel black and the thinner one is apparel bold. But I also like to interchange between a normal font style and an italic. So I like to throw in an italic as a subheader of some sort. I think keeping the main header as apparel black, but making the subheader italic, you are still able to pay attention to both. The header is thicker, bolder, and bigger. Your eyes are drawn to this, but you're also interested in the subheader because it's italic. That's how I see it. So that's kind of why I stick the italic in there. So I guess just the general design language. I want to take note of my app icons that I recently designed and started selling on my Etsy shop. I want to make like a whole video on my app icons eventually. I just never got to introduce them to you guys yet. But here are my app icons. This is what it looks like on my custom wallpaper, on this little graphic art I made. And here is what it looks like up close. We already said that we want this website to feel warm and cozy, but we also want it to be fun because I want people to open my website and think it's like something interesting or something that they would like to incorporate into their website somehow. So yeah, I think warm and cozy, fun and energetic, a little bit playful is the vibe we're going for here. Memorable, yes and memorable.
So I just finished eating lunch and designing the first iteration of MacyLee.com. I designed for three different screen sizes, desktop, tablet, and mobile. And by no means is this the final design of MacyLee.com. I plan to iterate on this, add more sections to the page, maybe add a blog section and about me section. For now, I'm keeping it simple with just these links on the bottom that link to my YouTube channel, my Etsy shop, my Instagram, and my GitHub page. I'm going to be coding these based off of a grid component that I'm going to open source. It's a very easy way to bring your wireframes to life with code. As you can see, I designed with the grid system in mind. It makes it easy to debug because if you are on a website that uses CSS grid, you can actually see the grid when you hover over the HTML tags. So it just makes it really easy to double check your design and make sure that it's being implemented correctly. I'm going to add some really cool SVG animations and all of that. So yeah, now it's time to start coding. So that wraps up today's design and coding vlog. If you enjoyed this kind of video, please share your thoughts down in the comments and give this video a thumbs up. It helps me figure out whether I should keep making these kinds of videos, should I make more design and coding vlogs, tutorials, etc. It's gonna help me plan out my future content. Maybe I can make a part two of revamping my website. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and please write down below what content you would like to see from me next and I'll see you in the next one.